Welcome. Now, in this case study, we'll look at security hardening for Cloud Amazon Web Services, or AWS. So this is a CIS benchmark case study for Cloud Amazon Web Services Foundations. And this is the front page of the PDF document, CIS Amazon Web Services Foundations, November 29th, 2016, 148 pages PDF document. Now, in this control, 1.14, it says ensure hardware multi-factor authentication MFA is enabled for the root account. And this is scored. And this is a serious control. It's level two, which is the highest severity for CIS. And in description, it tells us the root account is the most privileged user in an Amazon Web Services AWS account. MFA adds an extra layer or multi-factor authentication adds an extra layer of protection on top of a username and password. With MFA enabled, when a user signs in to an AWS website, they will be prompted for their username and password as well as for an authentication code from their AWS multi-factor authentication device. For level two, it is recommended that the root account be protected with the hardware MFA, and there are separate instructions um, uh, in the references section of this uh, particular control, how to order the hardware device, which Amazon will send to you. Okay, um, so for level two, it is recommended that the root account be protected with a hardware multi-factor authentication device with additional security control. Rationale, a hardware multi-factor authentication has a smaller attack surface than a virtual MFA. So a virtual MFA would be something that you, know, you do from your mobile, for example. It's just software, it's not hardware. For example, a hardware MFA does not suffer the attack surface introduced by the mobile smartphone on which a virtual multi-factor authentication resides. And note, using the hardware MFA for many, many AWS accounts may create a logistical device management issue. So if you have many users who would be using it, then it's suggesting that if this is the case, consider implementing this level two recommendation selectively to the highest security AWS accounts. So it's saying that instead of creating a new uh, problem where we have logistic issue with uh, you know, too many devices to manage, um, you just go to the highest users with the highest privileges and, and implement it for them. Um, and the level one recommendation applied to the, level, uh, to the, to the remaining accounts. And under audit, uh, perform the following to determine if the root account has a hardware MFA setup. Run the following command to list all virtual MFA devices, and it gives you the command to type in, uh, in, in blue. If the output contains one MFA with the following serial number, it means the MFA is virtual, not hardware, and the account is not compliant with this recommendation. So this is uh, the text it gives you, which you can use for the audit. And in remediation, there's an eight-step process how to fix this. Um, and you should go ahead and check the benchmark. It was really long, so I haven't put it here. Um, please refer to the, uh, to the particular benchmark. And this, these are references uh, from Amazon um, and the documents which you can read to get further understanding on, on these controls. Thank you. That's all that we have for this module.